Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your August 2022 monthly reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support, for your patience as I uh, took some time off and I came back after a little much needed getaway. I came back a little bit under the weather as, you know, it happens uh, with these days and times. So I hope you're all doing well. Happy birthday to all my August Virgos. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I am a September Virgo, but happy birthday to all of you nonetheless. So let's get to it. Nine card spread for the month of August 2022. Because I am under the weather, I have not been able to do any of the live readings. I will be going live. I also have a very important announcement for all of those that would like an in-person reading with me. If you are in Southern California in the LA area, I will be at an event at the end of this month. The information will be posted in the link below. I will also announce it in my community tab and I will have a short and probably a story. I will eventually get to my Instagram. Uh, I'm trying to get as much done guys as possible. Um, and you can get a discounted reading if you book in advance. And so uh, I'm set, I'm in the process of setting it all up. If you guys are interested, it will be Saturday, August 27th. Okay. I will put all the information in the description box below. I'll probably put it in the comments as well, as well as in the community tab. Love you guys so much. Let's get to it. August, 2022 monthly reading. Uh, we're going to do a nine card spread for the month, even though we're already a few days into the month and we're going to see the energy of August. So like I said, guys, apologies, I am a little bit under the weather, so you may catch uh, me kind of gasping for air here, um, waiting on you know what results. So we will see what ends up happening. Okay, so here we go. Beginning, middle, and end of the month, I will also pull energy oracle reading, uh, I'm sorry, energy oracle cards as well as uh, whatever other oracle cards that spirit is asking me to pull. I will clarify as I need to. So here we go. I mean, you end the year, uh, the year. Wow. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a brain fog. You know what that means. Um, <laughs> you end, well, you know, maybe some of you do end the year with the bang, which hello, Virgo. I am all for that. Being a Virgo son. Mm-hmm looking forward to that you end the month two very strong cards major arcanas with the strength and the magician card your uh, major arcanas for the entire month are the death the strength and the magician right those are your main energies for the month all the other cards are supporting energies you know those of you that are new to tarot i know most of you already know how to have probably learned how to read tarot from watching tarot videos but the death card strength and the magician here you are i do feel like there's a sense of halfway through the month there is a shift in the energies could be with the full moon that is coming up i want to say oh my god i should have double checked this i am telling you guys brain fog um you know I want to say full moon in Aquarius is what we are uh, up ahead. And at the end of the month is when we will have the new moon in Virgo. So that should be very interesting. So I feel like the magician card is the perfect card for my fellow Virgos to really manifest what it is that you truly want. So I just feel like the month of August really is going to be a major turning point for those of you that need to release whatever it is that you have felt has been blocking you, hindering you, delaying your progress, your successes, uh, perhaps even, you know, like I'm feeling right now, um, you know, a little bit of brain fog and getting the clarity that you need moving forward, whatever steps you need to take in life, in career, in relationships, it, you know, in, in your spiritual journey as well is what I'm hearing. Now, I do feel like some of you may have a little bit of a struggle this month because I'm seeing, you know, with the seven of wands, you've got the knight of cups and queen of cups at the beginning of the month. I do feel like those of you that may have met someone or gone out with someone, started getting to know someone, those of you that have felt like, oh my gosh, we get along so great. This is a great connection. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, it, it 
your initial instinct or feeling about this person is that they're perfect for you, that you just really like this person, you've got emotions for this person, but there is this, there is something about this energy that feels a little bit off to you and you're not quite sure what it is just yet, right? I do feel like halfway through the month, you'll be able to weed through the illusion of whatever it is. You know, if they've got red flags that uh, they're trying to keep them as green flags as possible, I do feel like some of you will definitely see those red flags halfway through the month if there are any. Don't wanna make you guys paranoid. Definitely don't want you to be like, mm, I'm gonna analyze this person, um, you know, to see what is going on with them. What, what are their true intentions? Ooh, and Spirit just said, you know, Virgo's going to want to know their true intentions. You might as well pull those cards now. <laughs> but, you know, halfway through the month, you've got the Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Death card. So in actuality, you know, after the first couple of weeks of the month, you start to realize that, hey, you know, I don't need to settle for whatever it is that's been presented to me thus far. I've got options. I've got choices. Uh, there are other opportunities for me, whether this is in love or in a job or career or a path uh, going towards something that you love. In any case, I do feel like there is this opportunity to start over again, hitting the big reset button. Also hearing some of you are really, really standing your ground, standing for what you believe in, especially in love. Oh, I just heard this very, very clearly. Some of you are really like not... Uh, I mean, some of you may be literally, but I'm definitely feeling some of you are like in someone's face being like, yo, listen, you're, you're a few years too late. That would have worked on me a few years ago, but I know my worth. I've been through some shit. I'm, I'm not settling for like kibbles. I know my worth. And I know that there's somebody out there that's willing to give me, you know, everything that I, I, I want in a connection. This also, you know, has to do with your career and the pentacles, right? In terms of, you know, the proper salary, a raise, an increase, a promotion. I do feel like some of you are in that stance of wanting to fight for what you deserve, wanting to fight for the next step of your life and not stopping until you're there. And so I feel like some of you are really chasing after your dreams. I heard that very clearly. You know your worth, you know what you want, and you're not stopping until it starts to resemble your dream life, right? It starts to, you know, feel like you're finally getting into alignment with your dream partner, your dream job, your dream career, the dream traveling, opportunities, the dream home, the dream car, whatever it is. I did hear some of you are finally getting your dream car. And I'm seeing it <laughs> I'm seeing a black, I'm seeing a black uh, luxury vehicle, all right, like all black, okay, so some of you are definitely going towards that, so if that is something that, um, oh, I just heard widow, uh, I don't mean like somebody just lost someone, I, I'm, I'm hearing like some of you, maybe it's a, is there, there's a car that's like a spider, right, I want to say yes, is that Porsche spider or something like that? I'm, I'm hearing it, seeing it. Some of you may be getting that car, even if you weren't planning on it, somehow that ends up being, you know, a much better deal or you fall, end up falling in love with it. Okay. So some of you are definitely bossing up, leveling up. Uh, this could be, you know, a bonus car, a second car. You date someone with this type of car. Uh, you know, those of you that are really fighting for what it is that you truly deserve within your mon money, career, finances, um, you know, the five of pentacles here and the strength card. It's like, you know, I'm okay if I have to struggle for a little bit. I don't mind. I've been through worse. Uh, you know, I'll survive. I've survived worse. I do feel like some of you are, aren't really faced by this five of pentacles whatsoever, especially in this row. You have the seven of wands, the nine of cups, five of pentacles. It's like, no, no. The kibbles you're offering me, you're trying to put me in this energy. No, I'm not stopping until I'm happy, until I'm fulfilled, until I'm content, until I am satisfied until I feel like all my hard work has really truly paid off or all my investments or all my studies or whatever it is that you are looking at, right? Especially for those of you that have been, you know, in like, um, I'm hearing and, and I don't wanna, I, I, I hate to say it this way because it sounds a little mean, but I feel like some of you have 
Okay, no offense to anyone, especially cross watchers. I feel like some of you have um, dimmed your light and dumbed yourself down to be with someone or I feel like you're light years ahead in terms of intellectually and maybe life itself and experiences in life. And you've been with people that are not on, on your level intellectually or spiritually or emotionally or even financially. Like they may have like odd jobs or, you know, lower paying wages and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the fact that somebody is actually working and, you know, hustling or doing whatever they need to do for themselves that they haven't fully given up on life. That's great. But if you know, if you know that that's not what you want, that you've just been settling because you're giving them an opportunity to get their life together, you know, definitely feeling <laughs> Definitely feeling like some of you have shortchanged yourself just to be able to have a relationship, a, par a partnership, a commitment, and that commitment really isn't very fulfilling. And I feel like this person knows that you are a massive upgrade for them, right? That um, they even feel like they're not worthy of being with someone like you. When someone is in a relationship where they feel unworthy of that partnership, of that, you know, of that particular person in their life, or when they even feel like they don't measure up, it can cause problems in a relationship. And, you know, um, that's why you hear of people saying like, I was stressing over that dude or that person who like couldn't even hold the job and here I am going to medical school going to law school you know it's like that type of energy and again I'm not knocking anyone's you know um, path that they've chosen to take everyone has their own circumstances in life but what we do as adults and how we shift out of that is really everything that that can make or break a person and and there are people that will settle for that because like I said, they're happy that the fact that they just got a job, that's great. You may be like, yeah, I'm happy I got a job, but I'm not gonna stop. Not everyone has that ambition or that drive, you know? And 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 those that say they do, it, it really is like a process for number one, for them to say it, number two, for them to actually put it into action or to even warm up to it. And I find that a lot of Virgos tend to attract people like that because Virgos are so nurturing and helpful and wanting to be like, oh my God, I'll help you get there. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll help set you up or I'll help you, I'll guide you or, you know, I'll help you find a job. And then it's like, you're doing it all for them. You need to really allow this person to grow into their own is what I'm hearing. Okay. So some of you may be going on a little bit of a break, right? Some of you may be just taking a little bit of a, of a step back in a partnership and a relationship. I definitely feel like some of you are taking a step back from an, a particular employer, even though there may be opportunities for promotion. I feel like some of you are just like done. You're like, no, I think I need something new. I think I need to take a different path altogether, a different industry, a different company, whatever it may be. I do feel like some of you here have felt like maybe that current employer has not followed through, has not kept their words. Ha you have felt as though uh, they've left you hanging one too many times and you're just not willing to take that risk anymore is what I'm hearing. And it's taken a lot of strength and courage for you to finally say, you know, as grateful as I am for this job, I've been here for a long time and the opportunities you've given me, I feel like I'm not growing here anymore. And, and the last thing I want is to stay stagnant. And that is when the strength card and the magician really come in at the end of the month saying I'm ready for it as above so below I'm leaving certain things certain chapters certain people places employers uh, careers whatever it may be I'm leaving it all behind because I know within me that there is something better I know it. I know it. Now, again, some of you may be dealing with a partner who just feels really left behind because you really outshine them in so many ways. I feel like there is like an alpha Virgo here who's very strong in their character, who's not afraid to keep going. But at the same time, they're very loving and nurturing. So it's like they want they like Virgo. I feel like you really want to help this person be on your level. But Virgo they've got to want that on their own and they've got to be able to say hey i know i'm not there yet i'm really trying 
they should be able to do it on their own or they should be able to say, hey, what do I do to get here? But if you're the one that's like, it's like dragging a puppy on a leash that doesn't want to move, right? It's like that. I literally just saw that visual. So I do feel like, I, like I said, for some of you, you're, you may be dealing with like a few different options or partners, options and partnerships, uh, love and whatnot. You may be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign or someone with that combination. Aries Leo Sagittarius or, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Aries Leo Sagittarius or Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Um, strong Scorpio energy here. But we have the Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Death card. All of that is very strong, um, you know, water, watery energy. Um, but, okay, thank you for the reminder, Spirit. Spirit said, don't forget. <laughs> Virgo wants to know what their intentions are. Gotcha. The person in the person in question, the person on Virgo's mind, what are their intentions with Virgo? Ooh. <laughs> it's like you can't tell if they want anything serious with you or not because they're so freaking guarded. And Virgo, not gonna lie, you tend to do that as well. So it's kind of like, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, well, some of you are about to, if you haven't been intimate with this person, you're about to, because I just, I'm sorry, I just heard, I'll show you mine if you show me yours, okay? So whatever that means to you, maybe that happened recently, maybe that was something that was like teased in a text or message or DM or whatever, or maybe, you know, this just recently saw each other, whatever it may be. However, I do feel like the communication is one way when it's not in person and then in person it's a little more dry a little bit more serious and then you're just like where's the personality that i interact with when we're not in person i do feel like some of you intimidate this person most definitely i'm feeling that you know you intimidate this person they don't know how to act again what i heard you know they feel like they don't measure up to you what is the advice for Virgo's love interest. Oh my God. They feel that they cannot give you what you need or want or desire. That they'll never be able to make you happy. Oh, this breaks my heart, Virgo. I feel like you're seeing them like, oh my God, they're so great. And they're just like, oh my God, Virgo's so great. But I don't think I can give Virgo what they want, need, desire. Will I ever be able to give Virgo what they deserve? Oh, mm, it gives me like some kind of like, oh, like it's just like in the pit of my stomach. I feel like this emptiness where they literally feel like they're not sure if they can give you any of that. And, and, and I feel like they'll sabotage this relationship, this connection as an easy way out because it, that that is how they would handle this situation simply because they're afraid to admit their insecurities and how they feel so virgo some of you may be dealing with this type of energy not all of you of course some of you are in very happy committed right relationships and some of you are very happily single and you know this breaks my heart because I do feel like this doesn't have anything to do with you, Virgo. Don't ever lower your standards in terms of going backwards to meet them on their level. You can support them, love them, nurture as much as you can. But this is their issue with self-worth. They have self-esteem issues, self-worth issues. They have confidence issues. There is something deeper to this with them than you're even aware of. Um, and there's a sense of shame. And, you know, they may even have abandonment issues. Like, like they may even have abandonment issues with you know growing up or old partnership where they felt again like they didn't measure up this may be like a karmic lesson for them now again 
Virgo, you're not responsible for fixing everyone. I just feel like I have to remind you guys of that because I know, I know, I know. Um, Virgos love to be of service and help people as cliche as that is. And I hate to even say that being that I'm a Virgo as well. But that is how we need to set up our boundaries, my lovely Virgos. And I say it and mean it with love. But there's something darker here that is this turmoil within them. And you can't be strong for them to create the life with you that you both dream of together. Okay, I'm going to say that again because I had to say it a little slow as, as I was channeling it through spirit. Okay, listen, what spirit is telling me is you can show them how strong you are. You can show them your leadership skills and how amazing and everything that you've gone through to get yourself to the point that you are in. And they may be reflecting to you what they've gone through, what they've been going through is something you've already been there done with in the past. So when you go backwards to help someone, you're going back into that energy, right? And I'm not saying don't don't go back into that energy and stay there. Obviously, you don't want to. What I mean is that energy should no longer resonate with you. You want to, I get the feeling that Virgo, you want to set the example of like, look at me. I did it. You can do it too. You could be a strong a strong and powerful manifester here. You can show them the way, but they've got to be able to do it on their own. You, you can offer them your strength. You could show them what your strength is and how far you've come with that, but you can't be there. There, T H E I R, <laughs> their own strength that they need to get there. That's something that they really, truthfully have to go within to get it. I almost feel like this would cause a tower moment for them because this is going to cause some sort of awakening. This will trigger something with them, like within them. Yeah, eight of wands and so as soon as that happens queen of swords yeah i definitely feel like like this is something that's going to sabotage you know like it's like it's it what i'm hearing it's no reflection on you your love for them their love for you this is really something that they truly need to work on for themselves okay so i'm going to pull a few of the island time wellness here and you know take what resonates leave the rest behind because they will not all resonate with everyone i just heard don't reach don't reach for particular messages that are not for you okay virgo how does this person how does this person feel about virgo <laughs> i cannot make this up mirror you're marrying each other they're really looking at their own self-image and how relationships reflect our wounds i feel that you're triggering them to go into introspection i also feel like some of you have come a long way that you feel like you can dive into that chapter that they're in because you have survived it but i feel like in the end of that you're going to feel depleted and right back at square one. <laughs> you are in a position to welcome love in. Heart with a key. Meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Things feeling so perfect between the two of you. I feel like that's new love coming in for you. That you're not going to notice because this person is showing you a version of of who you were in the past and you feel compelled to help them. I love that about you, Virgo, but don't stay in that energy. That is not who you are anymore. What are their intentions with Virgo? <laughs> they wanna lock you down, Virgo. 
whether this is the new love or the current partnership, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. I'm hearing like those of you that are in that energy, like, like, how can I not be there for them if I see forever with them? No, I'm not saying you cannot be with, there with them through this time. Of course you can. What I'm saying is don't stay in that energy. You can guide them. You can teach them. You can show them the way, but they've got to do it themselves. If you do all the work for them, what happens later on down the road? When you're married, when you're buying a house together, when you're living together, when you're expanding a family. They're still going to expect you to do everything. You've set that precedent, Virgo. What's next for Virgo? Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, a time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. I do feel that when you realize just how far you've come and you really focus on staying grounded and within that energy, it becomes easier for you to detach from the outcome and the expectation you have of this person doing their part. You can give them the space that they need. You can let them know how you feel. But again, you've got to let them do the work. Healing heart. There may be some separation that's coming up between the two of you as this person tries to get it together. Healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. I also feel like some of you may have been involved at one point or another with someone who probably was not the best for you, okay? That may have been the energy that got you to this situation in the past. But again, I feel like a lot of you have already superseded that energy. You are in a much better place. Energy Oracle for August 2027 attachment <laughs> caring connection and goddess of the moon i i told you guys i am telling you you've got to do your manifestation work with the moon here okay so we've got the full moon i want to say it's an aquarius sorry i should have looked it up full moon in aquarius mid august i believe it's the 11th and then at the end of the month, I want to say it's like August 26, 27, new moon in Virgo. So if you are trying to manifest a loving connection, a caring connection, I do feel like you are uh, particularly attached to a specific outcome or a specific partnership. Listen, if what you want is to feel grounded and in a relationship where you could feel safe and secure and knowing that you never have to worry about if this person is being honest. You never have to worry about where this person is at at all hours of the day. You never have to worry about, you know, whether or not this person is going to just sabotage the connection and leave you from one day to the next when everything seemed normal one day and the next, like poof, they're gone, right? A disappearing act. I do feel like you know, your spirit guides, guardian angels are saying, if what you want is a caring connection, then that is what you have to focus within yourself, your own self-worth, your own self-love, self-care, and focusing on only attracting, loving, caring, fulfilling, what, you know, whatever type of relationship you're looking for, only attracting those types of relationships. The, you know, the, the ones that are not meant for you will weed themselves out and it may be heartbreaking for some of you i heard painstakingly difficult for some of you because you're not ready to let go of someone in particular you know they're not the one you want them to be the one but you know that they haven't showed you as much as you've shown them and i feel like some of you are teetering between letting that person go and moving on to the next or just taking time to heal yourself before moving on to the next. Virgo's spirit just says, and I heard this loud and clear, Virgo, you're good no matter what. You're good no matter what. Don't overthink it. But know your worth, know what you deserve. Know what your true desire is within a relationship. Don't be so dead set on being with a particular person living in a particular place, having a particular job. But focus on the emotion and the outcome of what it is that you truly desire. 
you desire to live a life of freedom, uh, financially free, uh, a, a lover, a partner, a relationship that you can always count on, that you can build together, love together, and know that you uh, are just in sync with each other, then be open to receiving that type of love, regardless of what package it comes in, right? Same thing with a career. Maybe you've been in one specific field and you're trying to manifest a job that pays six figures or more, that gives you the freedom of creating your own schedule. Maybe you want to travel more. Maybe you want to travel less. Maybe you want more time with your family, but you don't want to lose any, you know, financial freedom in the process. Allow the universe to show you other options because you definitely have the seven of cups right smack dab in the middle. The goddess of moon says, you know, use that moon energy, full moon to release any attachments, any blockages, the new moon to really set forth those plans, those outcomes emotionally, spiritually, financially. Ten of earth. I love it. Three of water, ace of fire. I'm going to pull one more. Wow. Queen of water twice. Beautiful, beautiful. That's queen of cups. Ten of earth. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Like I said, if what you want is to manifest very grounded space, a very happy energy, a very abundant and loving life, a, a, a life that's just abundant all around, abundance of love, of friendship, of partnerships, of happy moments. If, if you felt like you have been in lack for way too long, you want to manifest an abundance of happy moments, right? Uh, an abundance of friendships that are very supportive and endearing. I, I do feel like 10 of earth, 10 of pentacles is, is really saying it can all be yours, Three of water is the three of cups, a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. You also have the ace of fire. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement. Change your life now. Did you hear that? <laughs> Change your life now. And your double card here, your repeated card is your queen of cups, queen of water. This could be you. This could be a water sign you are dealing with. Could be uh, a water sign that is very significant in your life. Maybe they bring about a sense of um, clarity, um, intuitive nudges or epiphanies that you may need at this time to help you make the right decisions. They are tenderhearted, empathetic, patient and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition care for yourself and others but you know first and foremost don't over give or overextend if you are not feeling fully fulfilled within yourself i love you guys so much remember to make sure that your notifications are turned on i will be posting shorts in my stories in the community tab and as soon as i'm feeling well enough to go live with you guys i will Again, I really hope that this is the extent of my feeling under the weather, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Um, I, you know, last couple of times that I got the same thing that you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> um, I was like sick as a dog for months, okay? So I, I'm really staying hopeful and optimistic, and I would love all of your well wishes and healing energies. But first and foremost, I love you guys, and I wish you all the best. Have a great August, a very happy birthday to my August Virgos. I wish I could celebrate with each and every one of you and I'm wishing you all a blessed year. Take care. Bye.